Shiloh Silk Soft. Today's February 18th, 2022. And for those of you who haven't seen me for a while, go check out YouTube because I put things out to explain what, what happened. I don't want to take up the time of the people that know what's going on. So just go check things out and you'll find out where I've been for a month. Um, I got the word deception and it kept coming to me, deception, deception, deception. So I figured I was going to do some kind of a teaching on deception. And then the father gave me a poem about it all. So I'm going to read that in a minute. Father, we come to you in the name of Jesus, Yeshua. We thank you for kicking back evil. We thank you that your name, Jesus, was given to us by you to use against evil. That your name means destroying evil. Your name means salvation, sozo, which means to save us from everything that's evil that tries to stop us. That's why he gave us his name to use. It's his name where the power comes from when you pray. So he handed that over to us to use in the world to come at evil. So we rebuke everything going on that's evil, Father. We direct it at the coronavirus, the, the mandates of everything, the, the false government that's in there. And we thank you, Father, for victory in Yeshua's name. So I got this. Just listen to the words. It's, it, it amazes me how he does this. It just flows on the page. It's just absolutely amazing, the Holy Spirit and how he operates in us. Deception, deception truly is a misconception. Before I go on, I just want to explain what the words mean. Deception, we kind of know what that means. If you look it up in the dictionary, I went to get the dictionary, to get the dictionary meaning of it, and I opened right to the page where the word deception was on. Chances of that happening? Not. There's no chances of that happening. That's God giving me a confirmation about all this. So deception in the dictionary means to mislead by a false statement. When you deceive somebody, which is what the enemy does, he puts out false statements. He uses people, he uses whoever to make a false statement so that you are deceived and you believe it. And the word misconception means it's a mistaken idea of something. It's a mistake. It's not the truth, in other words. So this is how he starts this with the words. Now you understand them. Deception, deception truly is a misconception. It's not the truth. You think you know what is the truth, but you have no factual proof. And when you do not know my word, you listen to what is absurd. You follow anyone who opens their mouth, even though you do find some doubt. Your soul is looking for satisfaction that you'll follow any distraction and believe it is real. You are walking behind the devil's heel. He comes as an angel of light to bring you such a fright. And when you do not know my heart, you just fall apart. Time to take a stand. Know my word of truth. It's your command. Follow the word that is truth. The results are your proof. And when you get up and start each day, you will not dismay. Because you will know I am right by your side and we cannot be denied. Live the life of faith. It surely is your God-given fate. Do not hesitate. Make sure you do not wait and take your authority. It must be your priority. And you will sit back and cry. You will surely sigh when you should be shouting the words of victory because of Yeshua's name. It is what wins each game of life's challenges no more damages. Be happy. You belong to me. Yeshua truly has set you all free for all eternity. His name is the key. He came to destroy the enemy. Love your father who art in heaven. And when I read this to Gary, he added that last sentence. He came to destroy the enemy. I said, yeah, I knew something else had to be added to it. He's telling us it's our command to know the word. That's how we get deceived. Every time somebody sends me a prophetic word from somebody, I always see where they're off the scriptures, and that's how I know that they're not speaking from the Father. I don't care how great it sounds, how 
fantastic it sounds or whatever. Because that's how the angel of, of light comes, the devil. He comes to make you feel good. He comes to make you believe something that might touch your heart. But it's just not the truth. And the only proof that we have is the word of God and what the word of God says about situations and about life. And knowing the facts. When you watch me or you watch anybody out there on the internet that's talking to you, the first thing you need to do is ask the Holy Spirit for guidance and direction. Then what you need to do is you need to listen to what the person is saying. It doesn't make sense. Does it sound like too ridiculous to be real? Because when it sounds too ridiculous to be real, it usually is. There is such conspiracy theories that are out there that are just mind-blowing. And I don't understand why you people believe them. And you live in fear because of it. You have to know the word of God and live in that. If no weapon formed against me can prosper, what should I be afraid of? If I am in this world but not of this world, why should I be afraid of anything in the world? I'm a spiritual being. I walk in the kingdom of God. I don't go by the world and the world system. I go by the kingdom's system, which is what? God will provide for me. If I have need of something, he will give it to me. He will do a miracle if he has to, to save me. That's what we have to understand and that's what we have to walk in because there is a lot of deception out there and that's what Satan is doing. He has come into the, the body of Christ and he has put other Christians out there who are being deceived and they're speaking to you lies and deception and they believe it's true, but it's just not true. So there's so much of that out there and, the, and the, what does the Bible say about that? In the end times, these things will happen. We will be deceived. And if it were not for the sake of the elect, even we could be deceived. It wasn't for the fact that we have the Holy Spirit and we have the gift discerning of spirits. That gift have to be, has to be in operation every time you hear something from whoever it may be. You need to know your word. So if something comes out that is not biblical, you catch it right off the get-go. When I first came to the Lord, I started hearing a lot of preachers that were out there. And some I, they were great, some of them. But everything that I heard them say, I made sure I went and found it in the Bible. I just didn't take their word for it. Because that's how you get deceived. Because somebody can say something and you don't know whether it's truth or not. That's what the news media does. They just throw out lies, lies, lies. There's no facts to back any of it up, and everybody believes it. Why? Because they're the news. Yeah, they're the fake news, as Trump says. So we don't want fake news, do we? If we're Christians, we want the truth. Because what does the Bible say? It's the truth that sets us free. So we need to know what the truth is. Yeah, but Lois, how do we know what the truth is? You find out. You get the facts. Go on the internet and check it out first. Don't just accept something that comes in your email from another Christian. I don't go into anything and I watch nothing that's sent to me. Unless the spirit moves me for a reason to find out some information. I don't want to hear the worldly garbage that's being thrown out there for the Christians to, to get sucked into. Because that's what the devil wants. He wants to suck us into the world and the world system so that we can be destroyed with the rest of the world that's going to hell. No, we operate in the kingdom of the almighty God. And we walk in it. We talk in it. We do miracles in it in the name of who? Yeshua. Do you know that the name Yeshua that the Jewish people knew about from the Bible they knew what Yeshua meant. They knew Yeshua meant salvation. The destruction of evil. They knew it back in that time frame. The scholars of the day knew what the name Yeshua meant. So why did they deny him as the Christ, the son of the living God? What was their reason for it? They didn't want to upset the apple cart. 
They wanted things to stay the way it was. They wanted to be the Pharisees of Pharisees. They wanted to control the show. And when Jesus came in and started speaking and doing outright miracles, they wanted to get rid of them because they were operating for not their father, God. They were operating for their father, the devil. And Jesus himself even said it. He said, you are of your father, the devil. And there are many people that are of their father, the devil. They don't, they are not of their father, God, because they are not following him. So God is not their father. We learned that God was everybody's father. Should be that way. But God is not everybody's father because they didn't choose to follow him. And they are of their father, the devil. But we need to know the difference through the Holy Spirit, not through our flesh that might get annoyed and might not like this or might decide that or, you know, I don't like your face or I don't like the way you talk and I don't like this and I don't like that. So then you therefore decide that they're not from the God, from God, which is not true. Discernment from the Holy Spirit. I pray, Father, right now for your people to get discernment in the Holy Ghost because without that, we're done. We're doomed. We will just fall into the lies of Satan. We need discernment, Father. We need it, and we need it now to help us to understand who is real and who is not. And what sounds good, maybe, and tickles the ear, but it's just not the truth. Because it's only the truth that sets us free, not the lies and the deception that might make you feel good. So think about everything he said. Go back and listen to what he said again. Because he's telling us we need to know the word. He's telling us it's part of our job. He's, it's part of the commandment of God to know your word and know what you're doing so that you can have discernment. Because if you don't have truth or, or the facts before you, you can't make a decision, can you? So I'm Lois Vogel Sharp and have a blessed day. Gary and I love you very much. And I'll be back when he sends me back again.